there are basically two main features of the ice in Greenland. One is the ice sheet, the vast interior, and the other is the outlet glaciers. Let's first take a look at the ice sheet. If we were to look at the velocity as it relates to ground level there at the bottom, where is this going the fastest? Where is the flow the fastest? If you said right there, you'd be correct. And let's use the length of that arrow to represent the size of the velocity or the speed. If we were to do that at each layer, we would see that the velocities decrease going to zero at the ground. And often that ice sheet is frozen to the ground, that those two points don't move with respect to each other. So that's neat. That's called sheet flow. And you can think of it as pancake batter or um, Play-Doh. Let's take a look at an outlet glacier. Where would the ice be moving the fastest in this kind of flow? Well, if you said it's all the same, that whole piece moves together, you'd be right. If we drew velocity arrows here, they'd all look like that, all the same length. That's called basal sliding. It slides on the base. So what do you need for it to slide on the base? Well, three main ingredients. You need a slope, all right, that's obvious. You need water, and you also need till, glacial till, which is that ground up rock at the bottom. And if you lubricate that with some water, the whole thing slides. Hey, that was my first lesson on glaciology.